camera as still as possible. Okay, look at me and then pan down to the feet, okay? <clears throat> Try to keep the camera like this, you know, like that, stable. You see how I'm straight in the camera? All right, is it good? Well, hello there. How are you on this beautiful day? You're gonna hurt yourself. You know this, right? Yeah, I know. She wants to hit stuff. Oh. And she's got a stick. Anywho, this is our first stop of the day. We are just crossed the Indiana border. Everything went good this morning when we left uh, Walcott, Iowa, and now we're just moving on with our day. She's, she's still up for grabs if anybody wants her. Um, you know, yesterday when I was talking to you guys, I kind of forgot to uh, tell you why I'm stopping in Cincinnati, Cincinnati, Ohio. The reason we're going to stop in Cincinnati, Ohio, because it is 200 miles out of our route, we found a pool online, a swimming pool for our backyard. And uh, originally I, was, I bought a pool, well, I thought I bought a pool, and I didn't. Well, then we turned it around, and we didn't. We did end up. What? Did you just hit a steer tire? <laughs> we well, know it's not flat. I'm not going to trust the booming on those tires at all. But uh, originally, we thought we had a pool, which it worked worked out pretty good because we did find a pool cheaper online. Um, you know, this whole virus thing has really killed. Not really killed, but it's made prices really high on little stuff like swimming pools and so on. So a pool that we could get for, you know, 500 bucks on at a store, we ended up having to spend a little bit more. And then they weren't able to ship it to us because they wanted a little bit more money to ship it. And I'm not willing to spend that much. So we asked them where they're at and they are based out of Cincinnati, Ohio. We're going through Cincinnati, Ohio. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a tight fit. I'm hoping to be able to uh, either strap it to the back here, or it's just going to have to come into the sleeper with us. And if it has to come into the sleeper with us, I asked them the measurements of it is, and we're still good. So that's why we're going to Cincinnati, Ohio, before we move on to Maryland. If, if you didn't see yesterday's video, that's what we were discussing. She's going to hurt herself. I, I'm not kidding. She has a hammer. She's hitting rocks. She's hitting sticks. I don't understand why she doesn't just go walk around. You're, you're going to hurt yourself, child. All right, so we're gonna go for a little walk. I gotta get some energy out of this kid because, well, she just is annoying me. Um, in this video, guys, I'm gonna try to, basically, I had a question about the shifting of my truck. My truck is a 1999 Kenworth W900. Technically it's a 2000. I'll dig into that deeper at a later time. But it's got an 18 speed transmission in it. And someone asked me, so do you gotta shift 18 times? Man, your foot, you know, your leg would get sore. Okay, I'm going. Can I get that? Yeah? Your leg would get sore using the clutch all those times. Oh, there's a worm! So for everybody that doesn't know about shifting a transmission in a big truck, I'm going to try to get a little bit of footage of that. I don't know how I'm going to set the cameras up, show you how that all works, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, so we're on our little walk here around the rest area here in Indiana. Oh, so cute. Pretty sure that's a raccoon. Pretty Another. confident. Here, I'm going to show you guys here quick. What's in the tweet? It's almost like a raccoon shoved its head into a giant nest and called that good. I don't know what to tell you. The kid in me wants to poke it and wake don't it up. Don't poke it. That's mean. Borden's kid right there is telling me the better of it, so we're not going to do that. No, I just, it's so cute and it's just sleeping. Don't yeah. wake it up. Or leave it sleeping. Well, now what? I just want to poke you with this. <laughs> 
All right, like I said, we're gonna just do a real quick crash course in this. This truck has an 18-speed Eaton Fuller transmission in it. No, I do not shift 18 times when I'm climbing gears, and no, I do not use the clutch every time. So you people that don't drive trucks, you're probably wondering, well, how do you shift it without using the clutch? Because it's kind of hard on transmissions to power shift them in your cars and pickups. And in this one, no. The clutch is basically there to start, and that is it. Some people use them to start, or stop you know in these new trucks well this isn't new this is a 20 year old truck but even in my old Freightliner I used to use the clutch a little bit more often in it it was an 86 and, but as they get newer these trucks are putting automatics in them I have my own opinions on automatic transmissions they're my opinions and I don't want to offend anybody so I'm not going to get too in depth with those I just feel that if you're going to be a truck driver and drive a big truck you should at least know how to drive a manual transmission. I'm not saying you have to drive it, but I think you should know how to drive it. Anybody can get in a truck and drive it down a highway. You know, you got to think a little bit in the wise of cars and everything, but we all have that common knowledge. Most of us have that common knowledge on how to uh, drive around traffic and get through traffic jams and whatnot. Since Tater Tot is with me, I'm going to use her as a videographer, and we're going to try to get some footage here of how this really works out. The 18 speed transmission is really not a huge difference between your 5 speed transmission in your car, but I'm going to show you the big differences in it. All right, ready? Here, let's go. Please show my feet, young lady. Clutch. Okay, as you can see, we're not going to touch the gas. We're not going to touch the go go pedal. There's no reason to touch the go go pedal if you start off in the right gear. There you go. That's the only time you're seeing me touch that clutch. Alright, so right now I'm in first. We're going to throw her up into second gear. Easy, right? Third. Fourth. Fifth. Here's where the fun part comes in. See this right here? We're going to go to the top side of this transmission. There's sixth gear. There's seventh gear. Now each one of these gears, I can split three times. That's with reverse. So if the camera come around, look at this. Boom, you hit that. I just split that in half. And now you're wondering, why did you pull it out of gear and put it back in gear? The reason I do that is because there's no logic to it whatsoever. I've done it ever since I've driven a truck. So we're gonna do it because in my head, I'm convinced that pulling it out of gear and putting it back in is good for it somehow. Watch this. I'm going to come back. And as I come back, I flip that little knob back. And now we're in whatever gear you want to call it. I personally am going to call it 17th gear. It, like I said, this isn't rocket scientist, guys. It's more of a fine art you have to get to it because each gear, when you go to go into them, is purely because your RPMs. you got to make sure your RPMs are right. And you can't look at your tack and say, oh, that's where I'm going to do it. All right, we're going to go into 18th gear. There's 18th gear. We just went through all 18 gears. Other than that, I want to thank Tater Top for being my videographer today. And I'll be back with you in a little bit. another video it's your girl trucking with schmidt here today we are getting some exciting stuff we are going to be picking up a pool which is going in our backyard 
and 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 we will be able to go to Maryland. And I went we're in oh we're in the outside of Cincinnati, Ohio right now and we are going to have so much fun. His my dad is here with us today and we are just going to rock it. Yeah. Anyway, so let's get tracking. We're turning, guys. Okay, now we're pulling out. Okay, guys, we're getting on the interstate now. Some tasty hand sanitizer. That stinks terrible. Some. <laughs> Hi guys, this is a pool. This pool's way too big. I didn't think it was this big. So, uh, the frame rails aren't going to be an option. The truck is long enough, but with the pogo stick, it's not going to be an option. What pogo stick? We got to go to the sleeper. So, uh, we got to get up and over the seat yet. <sighs> It's like 200 and some pounds. It's not light. The guy brought it in a U-Haul truck. All right, let's get at it. Get to what I'm off Swimming pool for my little bastards. And for you too. Oh, I just scratched you. I'm sorry. You scratched me. <laughs> I had a sweaty head. You. Where's the ace? Yeah. I can't breathe. The pool. That thing's got to be at least two, three hundred pounds. That's heavy. Thank God for big sleepers, boys and girls. It's okay. You can get through it. <laughs> Stink you out again, Brad. No! All right, we got the sleeper. The sleeper. We got the the pool on board, guys. and yeah I don't know how much we drove because I'm not that professional I just like messing with switches and annoying people and pretend like I'm driving and messing with the blinkers and wiggling the joystick thingy and then touching it right after my dad wipes it off but yeah it's been just great talking to you guys, and I hope you enjoyed our little drive. Okay, bye-bye now. Why are you 
hitting me.